local teenager could soon become the youngest person to win the same award once given to Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin. Vista's Laura Lee Esther was nominated for a Hugo Award. It's a literary accolade to celebrate the best in science fiction and fantasy. And her fascination with the genre is not just a hobby, by the way, it is a lifestyle. NBC7 photojournalist Andy Dukelith takes us into her household where guests are treated to a blast from the past. Here, I'll put the cake on the side. It's evening in the Marcus household. Today we're having our weekly Wednesday dinner. 18-year-old Lorelai Esther has invited her friends. The girl they call Uhura. To discuss the latest in the Star Trek fandom. How could a space traveler with pointed ears have so much sex appeal? <laughs> <laughs> and catch the latest episode. Show begins in five minutes. See you upstairs. Only there's one twist. To seek out new life. Because... It is currently 1967. <laughs> My dad painstakingly cuts in uh, period commercials and we pretend we're watching it like it just came out. Oh, the hair. How much product does he have in his hair? Lorelai has been part of this time-traveling project for nearly her whole life. It all started with her father, Gideon Marcus, who wanted to review a collection of science fiction stories his father left behind. I don't read it just to celebrate the past and say, oh, things were better, because they weren't better back then, they were just different. But there's lots of good stuff back there that people have forgotten, so I like to spotlight the good stuff. The reviews turned into a blog. You basically started, what if I start reviewing it like it's in the time? And the blog turned into a following. It spiraled into this grand thing. And the following turned into a lifestyle. And so we started living day by day back in time. She says the retrospection of the past has helped influence a lot of her artwork. But it was today's power of social media that snagged her the Hugo Award nomination. I was putting my art online and people seemed to really like what I was doing and more people started following. She checked her email one morning and there it was. And I saw, I was like, congratulations for being nominated for Best Fan Artist. And I looked and I was like, oh my goodness, is this even real? <laughs> as far as we can tell, the youngest person ever to be nominated. Spock here. Winning would be a great honor for Lorelai, especially considering how the Hugo Awards are seen as the Oscars of science fiction. But in the end, it's not really about the award, it's about the community. The fan art that I do, I, I do because I, I love art and I love sharing science fiction and I can't wait to see the other things that everyone else creates because that's what science fiction and the Hugos and the fan community is all about. In Vista, Andy Dukleth, NBC7. Protecting those who protect our country will help.